Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. This video is for all the newbies who just started learning Android application development. So let me tell you all one thing, the most annoying comment that I get in my videos are, first, my application is crashing, second, it is not working, and I'm getting the message like my application is unfortunately stopped. So if you comment like this, then it is not possible for me to understand what is the problem on your side. So if you want some help from my side, then you need to be clear that what is the exact reason of your problem. So in this video, I will tell you that if your application is crashing, how you can know the exact error message in Android Studio. So let's go into Android Studio and let's see how we can get the exact error message of our crash. This is a simple Android Studio project and I intentionally made an error in it. So let's run this application and see what happens. When I click this button, the application is crashing, you can see. So when we face something like this, the first thing we need to do is run the application again. But before running, you need to click on this button, which is the lock cat. So we will open it. Now everything shown here is not of our use. We need to find the error message and it will tell us the exact line in most cases where our code is crashing. But first, make sure from here that you have selected the emulator or the real device where your application is actually executing or running. Now from here you need to select your application that you are testing and you can select it only when the application is running. So we cannot select it now. And from here you can filter the log. Right now it is selected as show only selected application. So it will show the logs of selected application only. But here you can also create some custom filters, but we don't need it at least for now. Now I think we have enough overview of this log cat. Now let's run the application again. So let's click this button. And you can see we have the error message here. So our application is crashing at mainactivity.java and the line number is 24. So it shows the file and the line number as well. Now you just need to click it to go to the line number of the particular file. And you can see here it is a Java null pointer exception and it is a very common exception that every one of us gets. And a null pointer exception means we are using an object that is not yet initialized. And here you can see we are using edit text that is null because I did not initialize it intentionally just for the demonstration. Now when you face some crash, you need to comment the exception message. And this is our exception message with the line number and the specified code. And then it will be easy for me or for anyone you are asking for help. So that's all for this video friends and I hope you liked it and if you did then please hit on that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and if you have any question then you can leave your comments below. So thank you guys this is Bilal Khan now signing off. Bye bye.